We are here with uh, Silvio Hackler from uh, Switzerland, current uh, Swiss champion. And right now we're in Shaka, uh, Sicily, in, in Italy. And here, uh, the last race, Silvio actually won the event, the Trofeo Max Power. So we're going to uh, speak with him and, and talk about his new line of engines, the Hasitun engines. Uh, Silvio, how are you? Thank you for the interview. Uh, I'm great. Uh first day of practice this year so um, I'm also very excited and um, yeah we have uh, the new engine line, new pipeline, new manifolds um, also with Simon um, I think we have a very competitive team unfortunately he's not here but um, I will hand that by myself <laughs> um, yeah I I would love to uh, introduce you to our new product. Yes, you, you made a lot of, a lot of expectation uh, late last year with the, with the new engine. So exactly. I wanted to, to do a quick unboxing with you and yeah. um, if you could tell us a little bit of, of what you have there. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we start with the engine. Um, you see it's, uh, our uh, new boxing. So it's all Hasi tuned branding. And uh, I will open it. Okay, so first of all, um, the engine is uh, OS based. Um, so it's based on the seven port OS um, engine. So in we have... Uh, the seven port is a uh, Eurospec? We, um, no? Yeah, it's yes? Eurospec, it's, okay. uh, it's the base. Okay. Exactly, and um, we have uh, some stickers. Um, the engine booklet where you can write in everything um, happened to the engine when you change the cone road, when you change the bearings. Um, there's the serial number. And um, yeah, let's, uh, some stickers, also the card that this is um, break in, engine. Yeah, we'll okay. go to that later. As you can see, it's very oily. Maybe you see it in the video. It's full of oil. Okay. That's why. The engine has been breaking. So there's already um, one liter of fuel through the engine. If we open it in Which the method do you use for braking? Um, we use propeller. Okay. Um, but this um, our secret combination of oil, nitrometan and um, methanol. Okay. So um, when you see the backside is already um, golden brown, um, there's already some color, so um, yeah, you can just put the clutch on it and start to drive. Okay. Um, there is still some braking needed. But what is the process of the braking that is needed? Um, it depends. Um, normally, it should be free after one liter. You know, one when liter. it's cold and you turn it with the screwdriver around, uh -huh. it should not be hard. Okay. Not super tight. Okay, but, but you do one liter like very, very rich? Not very rich, but a little bit rich. So okay. it can shift sometimes to second gear. Not always, but sometimes it can. And yeah, I think um, I recommend to use um, the current fuel of Pepe Group, Energy or Maxima. Um, yeah, that's what we recommend, but of course also works with other fuels. Okay, and what is different from the so, engine? Like the yeah, cooling exactly. head is okay. different. Of course, the cooling head, but it's <laughs> just design, you know. But um, you see the back plate, mm -hmm. it's uh, our own Hossitune back plate. Then we modified the crankshaft, we modified the, the sleeve, um, we modified the underhead. And we modified the case. Yeah, exactly. So it's heavily modified. <laughs> yeah, it's heavily modified. It's not just uh, like other OS-based engines, just a rebranding. Okay. It's really... Modified. Really modified, yeah, exactly. And then also the braking, in my opinion, is a, a very important part and it brings you a lot. Um, and, and these modifications that were made, um, like, what was the target to accomplish what more bottom end more high end or what is like the better results in the end <laughs> <laughs> it's a combination um <laughs> yeah uh, what you will feel it um it's not the top end top end is maybe similar to standard engines but you will feel 
in the middle part, the acceleration is just better. If it shifts, you will feel it. That's, there is more torque. Um, yeah, it's just um, also you feel it's very clean. So yeah, and also fuel consumption is okay. It's not, not uh, easy to make five minutes or something, but it's still okay for, for the power you have, still okay. And yes, I'm sure it's the best engine you can buy at the moment. Um, and what about the pipes that you have there? Exactly. The, I think we are done with the engine. Yeah, first of all, we start with the manifold. Um, it's our conical 90 degrees manifold. Mm -hmm. Um, as you can see, it's hard coated, so it's easier to clean. Yeah, it's very conical, so the the top hole is very small, okay. and the bottom is a uh, very big. So um, that increased the, the speed of the the gases, also help the engine to work better. So this, Th this is, is you made this from scratch, or it's a modification from OS? No, we made uh, by ourselves. By yourself, okay. Yeah, it's made by ourselves. Okay. Exactly. That's that, um, and that's. Um, the HD02 is the one I recommend at the moment. We have got two pipes. Uh, one is the Evra 2174 mm -hmm. and one is the Evra 2175. As you can see, there is a warning. We already cleaned the pipes, but okay. please also use some brake cleaner just to be safe that there is no dirt inside to okay. use it for the first time. So then, again, we have here the hard-coated version. It's also available in not hard-coated version, but I recommend that one because it's so much easier to clean. It's, let's say, a little bit similar to the new OS pipe, um, except the, the exhaust here. Mm -hmm. You see, is a, the tip. The tip is a bigger, so inside there it's conical. So that's why it's thicker, but in the end it's the same diameter like um, like other pipes because that's where where are the rules are coming in. Eh? Exactly. And otherwise, uh, this, this one is, you also made it yourself. Yeah, this pipes, we okay. make by ourselves, and um, that's the one I use at the moment. Twenty one seventy four is also the one which has a, a little bit more power. On the bottom or, or top? Um, also in the middle. In the middle, okay. In the middle. And also a little bit higher fuel consumption than the other one. Okay. But that's the one I use for most of the time. How many minutes are you doing here in, in Shaka? Have you tested or not? Here in Shaka, um, we are at about four and a half. Four and a half. Okay. Yeah. But it, it depends on how much the grip improves, of course. So now let's come to the last part. It's 21.75. So it's more or less the same. Also, the outer shape is exactly the same. It's just the tip. Okay. The tip is not conical. So you will hear a little bit less noise. You will feel a minimal amount less power but also um, recognize less fuel consumption. So okay. this is the main difference. If you want to go for five minutes, I recommend that one. Perfect. If you want to go for power, I recommend 2174. Okay, and excellent. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, that's our lineup for 2022. Well, thank you Silvio, good luck today in, in, in Shaka. Thank and you. Good luck also to, to Simon uh, with, with this new line of engines. And if you want to buy the engine for Mexico and Latin America, you can find it at hobbyshop.mx and soon in the US in scuderiaamerica.com. Thank you Silvio, good luck. Thank you. Bye. Ciao, ciao.